Hello and welcome to Mac Retrospective. I'm Jacob and today I'm going to be opening a very cool lot of complete in box Apple IIc and Apple IIc peripherals. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more awesome Apple fanboy content. Let's get into it. So I have one, two, three, four, five different boxes of varying shape and size to go through. I think we're going to start with the smallest. Uh, we have just a bunch of boxes here, including this not very interesting one, to be frank. It's cool it's in the box, but I mean... Done. It's it's literally just an eight pin cable to connect your printer or modem or whatever. They wasted all that cardboard for it. It's kind of funny actually how much extra room there is in here. I don't know if there I don't think there was anything else that would have been included in the box. It's a very simple box. There's nothing to it but I figured someone out there will enjoy watching it uh, next product we have is this Apple mouse 2c and I have to be honest I really really do not like Apple's old mice. actually now that I think about it I don't like any of Apple's mice uh, but this one's particularly not one of my favorites it's very nostalgic looking but no, I don't think I'd be using this long term. There are third party mice that you can get for your Macintosh or your Apple IIc that are much better. But if you want the original system with the original mouse, this is what you're going for. Now you will notice uh, this is not an ADB. Uh, the IIc was released before ADB was widespread. I don't think anything used it yet at the time, but they would soon. Uh, it is a single button ball mouse, nothing fancy about it. Uh, the shape is really uh, uncomfortable. It is not something that fits well into the hand. It's kind of jagged with corners. It's, it's not good, but they were trying. It was still the early days of mice. In fact, uh, it's so early, it has its own separate box. See? Because didn't come with the system. You had to buy mice separately back then. They were an optional add-on. Uh, let's take this box next. Uh, when I was initially going through grabbing all the boxes, I thought this would be like a printer or something, but it was way too light. So I thought, oh no, is the box empty? And then I looked at it. It is an Apple Color Monitor 2C stand. That's right. This big old box has nothing in it but a monitor stand. So, we have a bunch of unnecessary styrofoam and then some wrapping for it. Take this off to the side. My floor is getting covered in boxes already. And this right here is all you get in the box. It's just a little stand. Thank you, 1980s Apple, for ruining the planet. Uh, yeah, that's just such a waste for a piece of plastic. It kind of really bugs me, actually. Uh, now, this large box here, uh, I can at least understand being as big as it is, because this is something more important than a plastic monitor stand. It's a monitor. And I am going to try taking it out of the box without breaking it. Let's see if I can. Nope. It's gonna have to go on the floor. Oh no. Lift with the legs, not the back. Okay. There's nothing in the box outside of the monitor and a bunch of styrofoam. Uh, so this is actually a decently small sized monitor. I'm not sure the actual uh, screen dimension size, but I'd say it's fairly average to slightly small, but it's heavy. <laughs> I got a little winded just carrying it up here from the floor. 
I'm going to take it and do something you normally shouldn't do, but I'm going to be really careful, and that's laying it on its face. Okay, gently. To uh, take a look, the monitor is actually pretty yellowed. That can be fixed, but it is kind of interesting. So this, this didn't just sit in its box. It was returned to its original box after it was used. Uh, you have your dials for your scan lines. Uh, you have, oh, look at that. I'm still out of breath. You have your composite input, which is the only input for this monitor. You don't get any uh, CGA or anything like that. It's just for an Apple II, though there are other things that can use it. Uh, you're going to be pairing it with your 2C, especially since it's designed aesthetically to match it. And for the final box, let's take a look at that computer you're going to be matching it with. You have this unfortunately pretty beat up box. It's the worst condition of all of them, which is kind of a shame because this is the one you'd want to be in really good condition. Uh, this is the original box though. And uh, it is falling apart a little bit, so I'm going to try and be gentle. Styrofoam. Take each piece out individually. So, uh, we have a loose screw, oh no. Uh, I don't know what that goes to. Hopefully not something too important. More styrofoam. more styrofoam and everything outside of the computer itself is kept in this styrofoam. Uh, I will put that screw in my pocket so I don't lose it. So let's take a look at the computer itself. If you've never seen an Apple IIc, I think they're really nice looking machines actually. Uh, I think they're one of my favorite aesthetics of like late 80s computers. So you have an all-in-one design. It's uh, one of the first really like sleek Apple designs. Uh, you have a built-in floppy drive seen here. Uh, you have all of your connectors on the back. You have your volume and your headphone jack on the other side. And on the top here is where you'd place your monitor with stand. Uh, not quite big enough to hold a monitor without, and I've seen people do it and end up breaking their computer. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Uh, and then you have the built-in keyboard, which is, well, the keys have a good feel to them, but they are very tightly packed in to fit the form factor. So it's not the best keyboard in the world, but not the worst. And then we have your box of accessories. Let's find out what we get. Oh my. Oh, uh, we have the power brick and uh, it's, wow, that is heavy. That is a very heavy, at least three, four pounds in this power brick. It's really heavy. It's not too all that big, but it's pretty big. Uh, that's how they make the computer smaller is using an external power supply like that. Whereas all your previous models, it's built in. And uh, I have a history with the built-in ones exploding on me. So I think I'd prefer the external ones. Uh, we have your IO cables, an eight pin plug and a full serial question mark plug. And then we have some software. Very cool. Let's see what we have. We have Apple II, 2E, and 2C, an introduction. I've used this exact program before, and uh, when I did the last Apple II I used it on, exploded on me. So maybe let's not do that. Uh, then we have exploring Apple logo. Uh, I guess that's some design software, maybe. I don't actually know a lot of the built packed in software with a 2C. Uh, we have getting down to basic. So you can learn how to uh, print uh, 10, go to 20, 10, 20, print farts, whatever you want. Uh, we have the Apple at work. So teaching you about productivity software that's available 
and system utilities, the basic stuff to, you know, make sure your floppy drive is working, that kind of stuff. Well, that was a lot of boxes to open. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me struggling to open some of them and uh, you guys got a hit of nostalgia seeing a nice 2C. If you want to see us uh, run some programs on this 2C or you want to see us restore it, you know, the computer itself is quite yellowed. Uh, if you want to see us restore it or you want to see us uh, run some games on it or something, let us know in the comments below. And uh, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. So like it, subscribe, and if you'd like to support us financially to help us uh, keep these systems up in shape, maybe buy some uh, hydrogen peroxide for uh, retrobiting them, something like that, you can do so by uh, supporting us on Patreon at www.newsmakers.com slash Patreon. Yeah. And that's all I have for you guys. So see you next time.